which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for which it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again, with life and liberty to all who believe. <laughs> Pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a light to my feet and a light to my path. And I will find its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Mandy said, Mom, what are, what are you going to do when, when people start to realize that I'm 36 years old? <laughs> 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 This morning, if you would, I'm going to start the 21st chapter of Matthew. It, it kind of tickled me this morning to hear us as we talk about the things that I'm going to try to teach on this morning. Norm and I were talking Sunday or Wednesday night about the end of time. Has any of you paid attention to the things that goes on in the world today? We think about as I go through this this morning, you'll see, you know, I think about the things I see you think about all the locusts. I'm sure y'all saw the flag of locusts on TV. You see it, the, the earthquakes and the fires. California's about to burn away. You just think about all that as we go through our lesson this morning. I'm going to try to make it enjoyable to you. And he said, Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and the disciples came to him to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? 
Verily I say unto you, they shall not be left here, one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us these things, be, and what shall be the sign of the coming of the end of the world. And we think about that today, and he tells us about all the pestilences we'll have and all the stuff I just went over. And, and they're wanting to know. You know, they're with Jesus Christ, and they're wanting to know, all the, when is this time going to be? Don't we all want to know? There's only one person that knows when the end of time will be. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Amen. And, and I think about that, and I think about 2020. The world's going to end. This guy's got up there, got people scared to death. The world's going to end. Amen. We have to be careful as Christians and not be deceived. Bless you. It's so easy to be deceived by people that we think are good. Someone asked me this morning if I, love, if, if I watch preachers on TV. I don't watch preachers on TV. I'm afraid of them. They might be some good intentions, but I don't watch them. I study. I listen to Roy and, and other churches that we attend. We, we listen to them. But don't be deceived. It's True. so easy to be deceived. We think it's not easy, but it is so easy to be deceived. For well, many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars, rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. People will say, well, there's wars everywhere. There's all the time, day of time, it's the world's coming to an end. The world will come to the end when God has chosen that last one. True. Amen. And that's when it will come. It's when he decides that this world, you know, I think about this world today. I think about as I was a young man growing up and how innocent the world was at that time. And I think about the world today and how the world is today. It, it, it has changed so much. It, 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 it hurts my. It hurts me. It really does to see how our world has changed. I, you know, I don't think that the world has changed. I think we just see more of the pestilence and the, you know, because we've got uh, the TVs that go across countries and uh, the news media is there. The world has always the been media. sinful and corrupt. <laughs> There's always been wars and rumors of wars. But you know, I think about that, what you're saying, Nancy. And, and I think about when I was young, you never heard of, heard of I mean, I'm not saying it didn't go on, yeah. but you didn't hear about child molesters like you do now. Yeah. They dealt with people back then. Yeah. Do you think about it? Right. We had the morals that just... People ain't got much conscience anymore. No, amen. I took a poll the other day on, on a little thing I was reading. And we had a poll on there and asked, do you trust this so-and-so? And it was like, we'll say 10,000 people took the poll and like 7,000 of them, and that's not the exact number, said they didn't trust it. But that's the way we have to be. We have to be careful. We watch the news. They'll put on there what they want to see. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what goes on in the world. A lot of churches will put on what they want you to see instead of what you should believe. Believe, read, study, understand. For nation shall rise against nation, okay. And that all these are the beginning of sorrows. There shall, wait, I'm gonna back up, I'm sorry, I got a little bit ahead of myself. No, I'm, no I didn't. Y'all have to bear with me. I've got to hope my mind is wanting to do things this morning. It's wanting me to get excited. And I want to try to be calm <laughs> if I can. <laughs> then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for, nine, for my name's sake. Now you think about that. You don't see you don't see in the United States, you don't see Christians killed. You don't see a lot of that. But go across the oceans and stuff and look at these people over there beheading people just because they're a Christian. But you know what? What would you do? What would you do if somebody come to you and said, I'm going to cut your head off if you tell me you're a Christian? Think about that. These people True. are brave enough to sacrifice their life for Jesus yeah. Christ. Now think about what he's done. Think about what Jesus Christ done for us, how he sacrificed his life for us. Yeah. Think about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Think about God when he gave his only son. 
for us. For us. They shall be many offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And you look today, you look through the world, and you see people, if you don't say and agree with them, it hurts their feelings. This, you know, I, and said, many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. I was thinking about that when I read that verse there, and I had to stop a minute and think. And I think about this one of the men we have running for president, running for the president of the United States, has written a book that tells you all the verses in the Bible are wrong and how he has corrected those verses. Now, that's an antichrist. But to think he's running for president, don't be deceived. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Amen, amen, amen. You think about how many people that have left the church. The, the sin is just rampant in the world today. It amazes me at the sin that you see in this world today just on the, that stupid TV. Watch it. Look on that TV and look at the things you see on TV each day. It's pitiful. It's pitiful. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. He that shall endure to the end. I'm sorry? I'm not, I'm not a real big TV person. I don't. I, I watch TV a little bit, but Muck Mountaineers is playing. That, that's kind of oh, bad. Oh, <laughs> they're, they're kind of bad. Well, what, he said, gets, what gets me is all these commercials. Uh, 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 medication for uh, HIV and all this stuff. The only medication for it is God. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. He said, if you think about it, we think we take for granted that everyone knows about it, about living a Christian life. We take that for granted. We think that everyone knows about the Bible. But we should never, ever think that. You know, I think about these poor people across the world that, that have never heard about God. Think about the people that have never heard about Jesus Christ. When, when you can tell a little girl about Adam and Eve, and she says, well, I've never heard that story before. That's sad. That's sad. It's our fault. It's our fault. Amen. I kind of got off on this next one here a little bit, so y'all just... It says, when therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of the, by the prophet Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. So I got to thinking, the abomination of desolation. And so I said, well, now, if you read Daniel, and I'm sure we've all read Daniel, if somebody was to ask you, if I was to come to you and say, Lawrence or Roy, so, her, if I was to come to you and say, if you read in Daniel, what did you read in Daniel? What did you read? What would you first thing you'd say? Well, first thing I'd say is, well, they was captured. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Belshazzar were captured. I would think that the, the three, Belshazzar, or the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I would think that they refused to worship his God, his idol that he made, and they were thrown into the fiery furnace. I think about Daniel. I think about Daniel. They set up a decree that nobody could pray. Daniel prayed three times a day. Think about it. That's what you would think about if you read Daniel. 
Well, they throw Daniel in the den of lions. True. But now this is what, what really intrigued me as I read, because I went back and read the whole chapter of Daniel, and I don't mean that in, a, in, a, in a, a way to pat myself on the back. I wanted to understand what he was talking about. <clears throat> so I read Daniel, I got my reference out, and I started reading. What is this, what is this uh, desolation, abomination of desolation and all this stuff? And I got to thinking, Daniel was, we all know, was an interpreter of dreams. We think about the dream where he wrote, he got interpreted the writing on the wall. There's, there's so much we think about. But this is what we didn't think about about Daniel. In Daniel's time, he forecasted or predicted, I don't exactly understand the right word I should use, but he says there was four empires that he told of that would be destroyed. But now, you think about Daniel, and you don't think about that. But the Babylonian Empire was this, uh, was destroyed. It lasted 68 years. The Persian Empire, it lasted 207 years. The Grecian Empire lasted 163 years. The Roman Empire, <coughs> pardon me, lasted 1,123 years. Now, if you read Daniel, you have to read Daniel, and you have to study it, and you have to reference it. But now, you think about how and how how God had given Daniel such knowledge that He gave him, and you think about what all that Daniel had. You know, we think about all the things that happened to the the three people or his friends and himself. We think about all that, but you think about all those empires. We think about that. How long will our empire stand? Good. about to this next verse, but I was thinking about how you tell us about that. And it says here in the next verse here, it says, then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. So I looked up Judea. There's a whole lot about Judea, in, not, and this is in reference, okay? But you look up Judea, and you think about uh, Jerusalem and uh, the holy cities and stuff. Judea, from what I can uh, uh, find in my reference, is Palestine. That's, that's what my reference shows me. And you think about Palestine. What's Palestine always trying to do? Destroy Jerusalem. Palestinians, that's their, you know, they want to do away with the people in Jerusalem. This, that, that intrigued me to read that. In that time. It, right, in that time. I'm going to yeah. add this to you. I, I don't mean to correct you at all. I love hey. You. <laughs> Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea. Judea, right which became Israel, okay? Remember, Jesus came from the tribe of Judea, Judea, which is Judea. And you're right, Philistines, or the Philistines, and Israel have fought and are still fighting over the Gaza Strip. And right. Yep. Hamas and all that. And something that Shirley mentioned today, if we look back here far enough, we'll see what's happening today. Right. But I tell you, they's a savior coming. Amen. Amen. He's going to own it all. Right. I'm going to go through a few verses Pleasure. here now. I'm sorry. You're fine. I just said <laughs> He said, let him which is in the housetop come down to take anything out of the house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. But pray that your flight not be not in winter Neither, neither on the Sabbath day. Think about those verses right there. What's he saying? He said, don't take any clothes. You know, don't come back to get something else. What he's telling us is, we better be ready. No matter where the world and the house top, 
whether we're in the house or whether whatever, wherever we're at, we must be ready. It's important that we're ready to meet him. Because one of these days, he's going to step out and he's your sky. And he's going to call his children home. And I want to be ready. Well, then shall be a great tribulation, such as was not seen since the beginning of this world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And we, we today, we take so much for granted. You know, we take for granted, every, a lot of things we take for granted. We take for granted just simple little things, but we take everything for granted, and we think, well, our car's gonna start, the car's gonna work. You know, we take, take all these things for granted, but we have got to be ready to meet Jesus one day. We have to be ready. Our heart has to be ready. Our heart has to be ready. He said, except in those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Now you think how bad it would be, how bad it would be at the end of time if it wasn't for him shortening the amount of time that all flesh would be destroyed. That It's amazing. But he has a plan for us. We don't want to get away from our plan. Now if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ or there, believe it not. You'll never see Christ on this earth. Don't let somebody deceive you and believe that he's out here in the desert somewhere, or he's out here in this hidden place and all that. And I'm like Roy. There is not a man on this earth that's going to forgive me of my sin. Not on this earth. For there shall arise false Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders. Amen. Insomuch that if we were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. We are the elect. We Christians today are the elect. But how easy is it to be deceived? You know, I think one time when I was a young man, I, I went to a carnival. And we was in there talking and playing around, just as young people would do. And this guy said, hey, buddy, come here. Well, like an idiot, I went over there. <laughs> and he said, I'll let you win a trophy here, or a, a stuffed animal, whatever he was doing. And she'll just go around and brag to everybody if you want it. Well, I spent $10 and never won nothing. <laughs> but, but it's how easy we can be deceived. You know, think about that. Think about how easy it is to be deceived. We, we, we think, well, I'm smart. You know, I've got a common education. I'm smart as I can do. I'm an old dumb country boy. But it's easy to be deceived. Easier than you think you can be. That's the first place I got started out of. <laughs> I rolled up under that tent and didn't buy a ticket. <coughs> Big tent. And that guy led me out there. I used to see nature then. I hate that. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I mean, I hate it. I got caught. I was yeah. mad. <laughs> Behold, <laughs> behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if thou shalt say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chamber, believe it not. Whereas the lightning come out of the east, and shineth every, even unto the west, so shall also the rain of the Son of that's Man. Right. And that's when you're going to be, that's when you know it's going to yeah. happen. Not when what? some guy gets on TV and says, Give me $20 and I'll get you healed. Don't believe that foolishness. If there's a, only one time you're going to see Jesus Christ, and that's at the end of time when he comes back to get his That's children. right. That's right. That's the only time. He's not going to be out here hid somewhere. He's going to be where everybody, everybody in this world will see him. That's right. It said, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, the stars shall fall from the heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And what does he tell you? He said, we don't need any light. We don't need anything. We don't need anything. He'll provide everything we need. Everything we need. We think about all the things we need in this world. What do we need, really need in this world? What do we need? We need our clothes. We need our food. We need a house to stay warm and dry. What else do you need? What else do you need? I think about the Israeli people traveling through the, the 40 years out there in the wilderness. And I think about them being out there, and I think about they've got food to eat. Well, first of all, they crossed the Red Sea on dry land. They had food to eat. They had light day. They were protected day and night. And they could he tested them for 40 years to see who would be his, who could follow him. And what did they do? They got to build them an island. And now what happened to the 
spiritual quarters, but they didn't make it. They didn't go. He said, and there shall appear signs of some man in the heavens, and, the, all the tri and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And I thought about that as I was reading that. I went back to Revelation. It said, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and then every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him in all kindred of the earth shall well because of him even so. You think about that. You, we think about all the people that's been in this world, and you think about even the guy that pierced Jesus Christ's side. We're going to see. We're going to know. We're going to understand. It's, it's coming. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. Ephesus' dad believed that the earth was square because he says it comes from the four corners of the earth. And, and it, it, was, it, it, was, it amazed me. But buddy, let me tell you what, he's just like Ephesus. You don't argue with him, you just waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell you right now, there's no use arguing with Ethel Sue. They just ain't no use. <laughs> and he said, Now learn the parable of the fig tree when its branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. You know that summer is nigh. True. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. And I wonder. You, you read and you study about all the different things that happen at the end of time, and, and I wonder what it will be like. Can you imagine that, that, that Jesus Christ has come to you, and, and I'll get something else here, that he comes and you, you stand before him, and you're, you're standing there with your friend, and you go and your friend's left behind, and you think about when, when they, they're in the eternal plane, when they're in flame, the gas, gnashing of teeth, and all the different sad things that will be in this world. Think about how, what a pitiful place that's going to be. If you have any compassion in your heart at all, you would have to think about the people that won't go, the people that won't listen. You know, you talk to, I talk to a lot of people. No matter where I'm at, I'll talk to people about, about Jesus Christ. And it, it, it amazes me that how many people will say, I don't, I don't want to but how many of us, how many of us here this morning have done the same thing? I know a preacher who used to talk to me all the time. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear that. Think about that. But one of these days, it's going to be too late. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things fulfill. And I think about this generation. What generation will it be? I wonder, wonder today. What generation will it be that will be the last generation? You know, I, I think about my family. It's my little family. Sure. And, and there's four generations. Is one of them that generation? You know, it's my little great-grandson. Is, is he going to be one of that, that generation? We have to try to help these generations. We have to try to teach them. Try to teach them to understand. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. His word will never pass away. But the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, Amen. but my Father only. Think about that. One day. Now think about one day. What's one day with, with the Lord is a thousand years, a thousand years is one day. Sure. You think about a thousand years or, or one day. You know, we might be thinking a thousand years. We might be thinking one day. I want to see all of you. Someday, when I walk to the, I pray that God takes me into heaven, and I walk to heaven with you, and I want to see you there one day. And I mean that sincerely, from the bottom of my heart. Yes. But as the days of Noah were, so shall be also the coming of the Son of Man. For in that days, that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered into the ark. And no, not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also be the, the coming of the Son of Man be. And you think about that, 
And I love to think about Noah building the ark. I was privileged enough to get down to see it and, and to, to, to see the ark and how huge it is. It, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. But you think about that, you, you teach people, you preach to people, you talk to people, and, 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 they, and just, they just go about their way. Just go about their way. And the, and the day when he steps out, when he comes to get us, you think about that. We're all going to be going, doing our things, whatever we do each day. That's what it's going to be like. It's not going to be, well, he'll be here day after tomorrow. It ain't going to be that way. He's going to come. Stevie, ready? Ready? Ready. Having a big old time. Then shall two be in the field, one shall be taken, the other left. Think about how sad that would be. Two women shall be grinding at the meal, and the one shall be taking the other left. People say, well, they don't even have meals anymore. I'm sure all of you know what a grinding meal is. You've seen them grind corn and all these different things that we've done. <clears throat> but, but when he comes back, what he, the whole thing he's trying to say here, one's going to be taken and one's going to be left. Do you want to be that one? Do you want to be the one that's left? And that's what he's asking you. You have a choice. He won't make it. You have to make it for yourself. <coughs> Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. But know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken into. And I, I went back in here again. I went back to Revelations. Yeah, and I was in the third chapter of Revelation, the third verse, it says, Remember therefore how that thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore Amen. thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come on thee. We have to watch. We have to be ready. Because we don't want to be that one. He said, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man come. And people will say, and I've said it myself, I, you know, well, I've heard this all my life. I've heard this ever since I was a little boy. I've heard this oh, ever yeah. since I was a little girl. Haven't we all heard it? But test me this. Tell me this. Is the world not waxing bad? Is the world not getting worse? It's going to get worse. We think it can, but it's going to get worse. Be ready. Be prepared. Now, I went at, on that this when I went into Thessalonians and said, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. True. Let us watch and be sober. You know, you think, I fear God, what he, what I, where I can mess up and do something wrong. I ask him each morning, Lord, don't let me do things or say things I shouldn't say. Who is this faithful and wise servant who his Lord has made ruler over his household to give their, them meat in due season? Blessed is the servant when his Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Who is then a, a, is a faithful and wise servant whose Lord? Are we faithful and wise servant, servants? Are we faithful? Are we wise? Try to be. The wild might slack up a bit on the wild. I'm not the surprise light and lamp, but you know, but seriously, if we think about that. Who his Lord has made roar over his household to give them meat in due season. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his seven servants, fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. You think about that, and we think about that today, and I, and I go back again to these foreign countries that are cutting Christians' heads off and doing all the things they're doing in the world. It's so sad that for what you believe, but that's the way it is in the world today. If you don't believe the way I believe, it, it, you're out. He said, The Lord of the servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and an hour that he is not aware, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion 
with the hypocrites, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Right. Got one more little verse here. He said, this is out of Daniel. It says, at the time shall Michael stand up with the great friend, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, right. such as was never since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. How many of us want your names written in the book this morning? Amen. I want my name written in that book. And many of them asleep in the dust of the earth shall wake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And that's out of Daniel. Daniel's a good is a good chapter. I hope I haven't with Daniel. But it's really, if you sit down and study Daniel, Daniel's a really a good chapter. It, it refers to the revelations a lot and, and, and different different things it refers to. And, but you have to study it. It's what David and I was talking this morning, and he was talking about reading the Old Testament and the New Testament. And it, it, it's kind of hard. You've got to watch. You know, the New Testament refers back to the Old Testament. But you... Uh, the, the new, I call the New Testament our roadmap to the old to the new, or the Old Testament roadmap to the new. And uh, if, if I can say nothing else this morning, always watch and always be ready, because one day he's coming. Question. 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 I'm studying Matthew, and that I read that verse there, and I just something I, just, I went back and read Daniel again. But it's, I love to sit and read it. I don't read it near enough, near enough. Yeah, yeah that's what's always amazing. You read something today, and go back and read it tomorrow, and you'll find something different. He'll give you what you need when you need it. And I thank you for listening to me this morning. I've enjoyed it. Enjoy it. Yeah, we're going to get old Rocco, Rico. <laughs> <laughs>